This is the 2024 Alfa Romeo Tonale Veloce. What's up everybody, welcome to the video. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I'm at Performance Alfa Romeo in Whippany, New Jersey, and we're taking a close look at the plug-in hybrid 2024 Alfa Romeo Tonale Veloce with E all-wheel drive. Let's start under the hood. What we have here is a 1.3 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine that's paired with an electric motor that powers the rear axles, putting out combined 285 horsepower and 347 pound feet of torque. And that's paired with a six speed automatic transmission with all wheel drive. Zero to 60 takes 5.6 seconds. Fuel economy ratings are combined 77 miles per gallon with electric and gas together and combined 29 miles per gallon on gas alone. This can go up to 32 miles on full electric power. The capacity of the fuel tank is 12 gallons and the capacity of the battery is 15.5 kilowatts. At the front end, this has Alfa Romeo's new headlight design, which they call the Tri-Lobe Adaptive Matrix Headlights. So there's three different projector beams in the housing and underneath you have three LED lighting elements that double as the daytime running lights and the turn signals. It looks very similar to BMW. The main thing I can say about the design of the Tonali is it's very chiseled and three-dimensional. And this color is called Misano Blue, by the way. It's a crazy color. There's a lot going on. Up on the hood, you can see the way they shaped it around the emblem. The hood actually comes further out than the bumper and headlights and creates a lip. And the bumper below the headlights extends out slightly, creating another crease there, and then an indentation running parallel below. There was definitely a lot of thought put into the design and it looks very sharp. The grille has Alpha's typical slim triangular shape. The surround is flat black and the triangular inserts are glossed out. It's fully functional to allow air to flow and even this part up here under the hood is vented as well. Down below there's a split intake with this glossy dark gray trim around it and flat black along the bottom. And in the corners there's large intake vents to help channel air around the side of the car. Turning to the side, you have gloss black power folding mirrors with LED indicators and a small Italian flag. You'll find the Veloce badge on the fender. And that glossy gray trim from the front lines the bottom, front to back, and it's on the wheel arches. The trim that goes around the windows and on the A-pillars is gloss black. There's a body line that runs from the rear just below the window all the way to the front fender, another more rounded one underneath starting in the rear door and fading into the fender, and one more going across the bottom. And as mentioned before, the gray trim along with a strip of flat gray inside it. Taking a look at the wheels, this is a 20 inch Grigio five hole aluminum alloy wheel that is a $2,000 option. Alfa Romeo has some very interesting and unique wheel designs. The brake calipers are a nice red color with white inscription. The tires this is riding on are 23540 Michelin Pilot Sport all season tires. Turning to the rear, the LED tail lights stretch all the way across the back and they have the same design with the three curves like the headlights. There's also similar creasing like in the front with these lines just above and below the lights. Going down, there's a bit of a rounded concave right where the Tonali badge is. There's a small deck lid spoiler with the third brake light built into it. The majority of the bumper is finished in more of that glossy gray color with a tiny bit of flat black at the very bottom. There's integrated reflectors along with integrated exhausts on each side. And a quick shout out to this video sponsor, FitCam X. FitCam X is a custom hardwired 4K dash cam that is made for your specific car's interior with no exposed wires showing. And it connects to your phone via the FitCam X app. And they're offering all my viewers 10% off everything on their site using promo code OPTICAL. Link in the description. Opening up the power lift gate, off to the left you'll find a 12 volt charging outlet. There's additional storage under the floor to store your Alfa Romeo battery charger. This Tonali has a cargo cover to keep your business private. There's 22.9 cubic feet of space with the seats up and just over 50 cubic feet of space with the seats down. The seats are 60-40 folding plus there's a pass through in the middle. If you're enjoying this review be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more weekly videos. Stepping inside the Alfa Romeo Tonale, at first glance, it's an attractive design, but I'm not sure how I feel when I remember that this is essentially the same car and same interior as the Dodge Hornet, which costs significantly less. But let's see what you get here. 
The upper dashboard is made of a plastic that has some give to it, relatively soft. Now the cool part of the interior is this middle trim piece. It's got this alternating diamond pattern with a bunch of small fine lines going through it. This is cool and rather unique because these fine little lines in the trim have some degree of transparency and actually allow light to shine through. And there's multicolor ambient lighting underneath this trim. Now unfortunately, you can't see it in the daytime and believe me, I tried my best to make it show up on camera, but I couldn't. But you can see on the screen here what it's supposed to look like and what the different color options are. Underneath that trim piece is this nice stitch leatherette on the door panel, the upper, honestly speaking, is just about one step above hard plastic. This was rather surprising for a car at this price point, but the material underneath it and on the armrest is very soft and padded. There's some textured gray trim around the door handle, and the speaker grill for the Harman Kardon sound system has a nice metallic finish. And yeah, these switches are straight up dodge. Down below are aluminum Alfa Romeo door sills and aluminum pedals, although there isn't a whole lot of aluminum to look at because the grips are so big. The seats are perforated black leather seats with lots of white contrast stitching and embroidered logos in the headrest. The seats are heated and ventilated and there's three memory settings for the driver. Now the steering wheel is going to be the same one straight out of the Dodge Hornet, but it's a nice wheel. It has a flat bottom, some perforations around the bolsters, a nice smooth horn button, the start stop button button on the left like you find in Maseratis, and these huge aluminum paddle shifters on the back that are very hard to miss. It's also heated for those cold winter days. Up above is a 12.3 inch digital gauge display. In the middle, it can display your navigation map, performance numbers, speedometer, hybrid info, charging and power info, driver assist features, and shows cool animations when switching between drive modes. In the center of the interior is a 10.3 inch infotainment touchscreen. The software is identical to what you find in Maserati and other Stellantis cars. It has a nice clear 360 camera with multiple different viewing angles, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Alexa, AM FM Sirius XM radio, and Bluetooth and USB audio are all included. Safety features include enhanced adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning with full stop, lane keep assist, blind spot and cross path detection, traffic sign recognition, driver attention alert, front rear and side parking assist, and an emergency vehicle alert system. This Tonali Veloce has an optional 14 speaker Harman Kardon audio system. Let's take a quick listen. Down on the center console, you'll find a 12 volt USB-A, USB-C port, and a wireless charger. There's a very nice leather shift knob, and despite the center armrest being small, the storage space inside goes quite deep, and the glove box is very big too. The AC has physical control buttons, but on the screen there's a menu that allows for more customized settings. Now, Alfa Romeo doesn't call this a panoramic moonroof, but it's definitely bigger than your typical standard moonroof. Now I'm sitting in the back behind myself, and there's a decent amount of legroom. There is 38 inches of legroom, and the back of the front seats are fully leather wrapped, which you don't see a lot of. It's nice and great and all, but the tops of the rear door panels are hard plastic, which for a car this price really shouldn't be. I think the focus was in the wrong place here. Anyway, down in the middle, there's two air vents and a USB-C and USB-A port. There's a nicely padded center armrest with two cup holders, and here's that pass-through to the trunk we saw earlier. It's nice that you can have that along with the 6040 fold because it's usually only one or the other. MSRP of this Alfa Romeo Tonale Veloce with all its options is $57,300. Big thank you to Performance Alfa Romeo for letting me come out today to show you guys the Tonali Veloce. They're located on Route 10 in Hanover Township, so stop by if you're in North Jersey or the New York City metro area, and when you get there, make sure you ask for Eugene. Let me know your thoughts on the new Tonali down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with a friend and subscribe. It'll really help the channel grow. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Let me know in the comments what vehicles you want to see on the channel next. And be sure to follow at Optical Automotive on TikTok and Instagram and check out the page on Facebook. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later.